There have been 41 murders in Barbados this year compared to 28 last year. 31 of them involved firearms. As a result of the rising crime, the Barbados Police Service has formed a new unit with the Barbados Defense Force. We combine our resources, and not only these two organizations, also members who work at borders within our country, also partners in this operation. Among you, members of the public are also part and parcel of what we're hoping to achieve. And today marks the official launch of Operation Restore Order. The operation is made up of 86 police personnel and an unlimited number of BDF personnel. Already, the unit has been able to solve a total of four murders, arrest 13 people, conduct 337 vehicle searches, 1,098 personal searches, seized a number of firearms and 67 rounds of ammunition. On the maritime side, they've confiscated $2.3 million in drugs. And while Commissioner Boyce assures the public people will not be targeted without cause, he's asked the public for their support. You're going to see police officers and their support BDF personnel moving around. I want to encourage persons that when we are moving around, do not get in our way. Do not intervene. Do not, res do not hamper. Do not make the job more difficult for the officers than it should be. Anne has sent a stern warning to those operating outside of the law. My message also to the criminals, we are serious about this operation. We intend to go after you. We intend to take these guns out of a person's hands. We intend to come after you 24-7, day and night. The police commissioner says it will be a three-month operation in the first instance. Crystal Hoyt. CBC News.